Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 15th September 2019. I am Sagar Nandi. I am the designer and developer of Q Trading Systems and Techniques. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I retired about six years ago, now living in Thailand. I primarily trade stocks swing trading stocks i share my stock analysis regularly using the live market at the traders forum sagarnandi.com you may also follow me on my twitter page twitter.com sagarnandi and my youtube channel trading profitably Before I begin today's market roundup, I go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's market roundup, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. After that, I will try to identify potential trades using a complete 360 degrees analysis that looks at multiple dimensions. First, I will analyze the broad market using technical analysis of the market ETFs. If the market goes up, stocks generally tend to go up with that. When I analyze the market, if the market turns out to be bullish, I prefer to take long trades and if the market turns out to be bearish, I prefer to take short trades. If the market is moving sideways or indecisive, then I may stay away from taking any new trades. Once the market level factor is known, I drill down into the sector industry level. I study their rotation using sector industry scorecard. If I am looking for a buy candidate, I look for them in the strongest sectors and industries. And if I am looking for a shorting candidate, I look for them in the weakest sectors and industries. Next comes the fundamental level. Here I am looking for fundamentally strong stocks for buying, fundamentally weak stocks for shorting. Lastly, I wait for a low risk technical entry point. When all these forces are aligned, that is in a bullish market, I find a strong sector and industry. Further, I find a strong fundamental stock and the stock is at a low risk buy point. Then I find a what I call a 360 degree long trade setup and the vice versa for shorting opportunities. Using the techniques and systems I use, I can carry out this 360 degrees analysis in a matter of minutes instead of spending hours or days. And I will demonstrate that in today's roundup as well. I am not a big fan of PowerPoint slides. That was the last slide of today's presentation. Let me move on to the live system. I'm beginning with the analysis of oil ETF USO. I'm analyzing it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. 
In the past several market roundups, I mentioned that oil was inside a triangle pattern. The triangle was formed by the support memory trend line and resistance memory trend line. It is continuing to be inside the triangle pattern. My view remains the same unless price can go out of this triangle pattern you may avoid taking any swing trade in oil. You may see the triangle pattern in the daily chart also. It is now bound by resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom. Gold ETF GLD One week ago in the previous market roundup I mentioned that GLD had a bearish candle in the weekly chart. Both the backdrop candle color was bearish as well as the shape was bearish. And it also created a reversal candle at price extreme high. At that time I mentioned that it was not a good idea to hold long position in gold. That analysis was timely because this week gold dropped the weekly backdrop candle color is bearish and the shape is also bearish. The relative performance line is tilting down showing gold underperformed the market. In the daily chart, you had a series of bearish headwind signals. At that time I mentioned following Q guideline one would apply trailing stop in any long position one might have. That was also the right decision because gold dropped from there. As of Friday, we have a bearish flow color, magenta color candle in the daily chart and the weekly is also magenta. In the daily chart, we have now lower high. It is giving a trend following go with flow short trade showing short entry opportunity as of Friday's close. From the commodities, I continue with the market ETF analysis starting with S&P 500 ETF SPY. In the weekly chart, SPY nicely bounced up from this memory support trend line. Now the weekly backdrop candle color is bullish for three successive weeks. Earlier it was inside a range. One week ago it broke out of the range and this week it continued to move upward. This week's backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart when price was inside this range, I suggested not taking any swing trade. One week ago, it broke out of the range that didn't give us any low risk entry opportunity. What about now? Now price has come to the watermark resistance level. If I am reading the charts properly, on Thursday, on an intraday basis, it created a new all-time high. Thursday ended with a mixed shape candle with both upper as well as lower tails and on Friday, price dropped a little bit. Friday also displayed a bearish headwind possible reversal signal. Prices at watermark resistance level where it displayed a bearish headwind signal. Following Q guidelines, this is not the time to try new long trades in SPY or in stocks in general. Is there any bearish headwind swing short opportunity? If we apply the unambiguous checklist for Headwind reversal trade setup, then the answer will be no. The daily has displayed a bearish headwind signal. However, the weekly 
candle color and shape both are bullish therefore we don't have a bearish headwind reversal trade for swing trading purpose how can you use the headwind signal in that case firstly if you had a long position in SPY then at minimum you would place a trailing stock to protect your profit and if price continues to go down then you may look for a shorting opportunity using intraday Q fine tune or precision entry chart NASDAQ 100 ETF QQQ this also bounced up nicely from the weekly memory trend line support after that it went up this week's candle shape is not as bullish as SPY the candle shape is indecisive doji like candle with both upper as well as lower tails the weekly candle color is still bullish the relative performance line tilted down this week showing that QQQ underperformed the market in the daily chart price created a bearish shape candle on Thursday and on Friday price dropped little bit there was no bearish headwind signal in QQQ QQQ is very near memory trend line support looking at that you may avoid trying new short trade in QQQ right now Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA this is also looking strong the weekly candles are bullish both in color and shape for three successive weeks this week price came very close to all-time high in the daily chart there is a watermark resistance level very near the closing price of Friday Thursday you had an indecisive shape candle Friday's candle is also indecisive price is already near the upper boundary level and it is overboard as shown by the stretch band indicator because it is at the upper boundary level and it is overboard you are not going to look for any long opportunity in dia at this point Russell 2000 ETF IWM in several previous market roundups I mentioned that IWM was the weakest of the four market ETFs this week that changed IWM went up strongly relative performance line is showing that it considerably outperformed the market am I now bullish on IWM not really though this is the only market ETF that went up with very high weekly volume I am not bullish on IWM at this point why because it stopped right at the weekly memory resistance line and also at the daily memory resistance line price it above the upper boundary level in the daily chart it is overbought and Friday's candle shape is bearish overbought instrument at upper boundary level and at memory resistance line this is not the time I like to take a long trade in that instrument instead if price goes down from here you may switch to Q intraday charts and look for a low risk shorting opportunity there I carried out a technical analysis of the four market ETFs that completes the first leg of my 360 degrees analysis that is the market level analysis what is my conclusion is the market bullish or bearish overall the market went up this week 
Therefore, for swing trading purpose, it is bullish. However, I make a distinction between the market being bullish and there being a low risk long entry opportunity. Though the market is bullish, there is no low risk long entry opportunity in any of the market ETFs. All the market ETFs are near resistance levels, either near memory resistance or watermark pivot resistance or at headwind reversal resistance level. They are also near upper boundary level. That is not the point where you can expect a low risk long entry opportunity. At the same time, the market is overall bullish. Therefore, there is no swing short opportunity as well. If the market drops next week, then you may actually start to look for low risk shorting opportunities because the market is overbought at present. There is a likelihood that it will reverse from the resistance levels. When you look for a shorting opportunity, if you don't find a Q swing shorting opportunity in any of the market ETFs, you may then look into the weak industries and further drill down to find out weak fundamental stocks and look for a shorting opportunity in such stocks. The market is bullish and that is evident from the sector level performance also. This is one month sector performance. I am looking at the sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week. The green bar performance of previous week and the blue bar performance of two weeks before that. Together they represent one month of sector performance. Any bar coming to the right side of the zero line shows the sector went up. Any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. All the red bars are to the right side of the zero line showing all the 11 sectors went up this week. Some of them went up very strongly like materials went up by more than 9%, energy went up by more than 7%, industrials went up by 6.5%, Consumer discretionary went up by more than 6%. Financials went up by more than 5%. These are very significant gains for a single week. All the green bars are also to the right of the zero line showing previous week also all the sectors went up. Therefore, you had strong sector performance bullish move for two successive weeks. That confirms the bullish nature of the market at the sector level as well. However, as I already mentioned, because the market ETFs are at resistance levels, you may not take new long trades right now. This is another look at the sectors, this time using scorecard and heat map. This shows not only which sectors are strong or weak now, but also which ones are strengthening or weakening. That is, it shows the sector rotation in real time. Here you can see the sector performance across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods. Cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness. The strongest sectors at present are materials and energy and the weakest sectors are utilities, real estate and infotech. Energy was weak earlier. It was the weakest sector for a long time. The score color was in magenta and then it started to strengthen. You could see this happening in real time and could take long trades, very profitable long trades using that insight. The same thing happened to materials. It was weak earlier and then 
it strengthened, became the strongest sector this week. Looking at the sector heat map, you could take long trades in materials just as the sector was starting to reverse from downtrend to uptrend. On the weak side, real estate and utilities. They were strong earlier but now weak. Looking at the weakening of the sectors, you could exit profitable long positions in time and you could also start to look for shorting opportunities. Using the pace column, you can further see the acceleration and deceleration of the sectors. Sand color represents acceleration. Communication services and healthcare are two of the most accelerating sectors this week. Which ones are the most decelerating sectors? They are industrials, consumer staples and infotech. Using Q technique, you can look for a long opportunity either in the strongest sectors or in the most accelerating sectors. That will be materials, energy, communication services and healthcare. And you may look for a shorting opportunity in the weakest sectors or the most decelerating sectors. That will be industrials, consumer staples, infotech, real estate utilities. As I tend to say, the sector level is quite broad, like market level. To make more accurate decision, you may drill down into the industry level and buy into strong or accelerating industries and short into weak or decelerating industries. Would you like to see a 360 degrees trade idea that I shared using live market analysis. I share such analysis regularly in my traders forum www.sagarnandi.com You saw that communication services sector accelerated. Could you use the 360 degrees analysis to buy a stock in that sector probably well ahead of others? You could and I shared an analysis on this stock CBB a few days earlier. This was the trade idea I shared on CBB. I shared it 20 days ago. This idea was using an options trading possibility and that trading possibility had more than 99.5% probability of profit and a 70% probability of hitting 50% of max profit. That was an options trade setup. However, you could take the bullish trade in CBB at that time using stock as well. When I share my analysis in the traders forum, I attach all the 360 degrees analysis snapshots. I did that in this case as well. Let me look up those snapshots. This was the technical analysis I shared at that time. You can see the bullish headwind signal once again could catch the very bottom. After that price was being supported by memory trend line. It displayed a cyan color candle at this point which was a go with flow long trade setup. You could take the long trade at that time as well. At the right edge, price came down little bit and then went up again, closed above the yellow direction line. You could take a low risk entry, long entry at that time as well. I also noted that relative performance was tilting up showing it was outperforming the market and the next resistance level was far away. Technically it gave a 
low risk long entry opportunity that is one dimension of the 360 degrees analysis what about the fundamental and industry analysis i attached those snapshots as well this was the fundamental analysis snapshot on that day when i attached the snapshot it was up by more than 7.4 percent the stock had medium valuation neither overvalued nor undervalued stock it had a short squeeze potential and the stock cbb had robust earnings growth as well as revenue growth in the latest quarter you could consider buying the stock as a stock that was showing earnings and revenue growth a short squeeze potential and was not overvalued yet fundamentally there were enough reasons to consider buying the stock lastly you would like to see that the stock was in a strong or accelerating industry this is the snapshot of the industry i attached at that time the industry was weak for a long time the score was in magenta color then it started to strengthen weakened a little bit and right on that day this snapshot was as of midday on 26th august right on that day using real time industry heat map analysis i could see that the integrated communication services industry was very strong and it strengthened after being weak for a long time therefore using 360 degrees analysis in real time on that day 26th august 20 days ago you could identify a long trading opportunity in cbb what were the factors in favor of the trade technically it was giving a low risk long entry opportunity trend following long entry opportunity as it regained the yellow direction line it was going up with higher high and higher low fundamentally the stock had robust earnings and revenue growth and a short squeeze potential and industry wise the industry was very strong that day and it strengthened after prolonged weakness all the factors were in favor of the trade you could take the trade probably well ahead of others and you could take the trade based on unambiguous multi-dimensional analysis how did the trade work out let's look up the chart of cbb as of today this is cbb as of friday's close i suggested the long idea on this day your entry price would be at the close of that candle and stop loss would be just below the recent low that is at this price point you would risk this much in the trade as the stock went up from there you had much more than the risk distance covered by the profit using q guideline you would exit at least partial position or you could book full position as well if you exited partial position you would apply trailing stop on the remaining position in a way that the entire trade was risk free from that point onward that was an easy trade isn't it the ease of the trade arose from the unambiguous analysis that i could apply in real time across multiple dimensions you could apply this technique not only in the usa market but in global markets as well sometime i share trade ideas on the indian market as well i shared one just a few hours ago let me explain that setup these are the 360 degree snapshots that i attached for the stock the stock is in the energy sector in oil and gas refining and marketing industry the industry was weaker earlier more magenta 
than cyan and now over one day period and two day period the score is cyan so it strengthened considerably in that industry i found this stock ioc which is undervalued undervaluation is shown by the cyan color in the valuation score it also pays a nice dividend in the indian market therefore it is in indian rupees 7.11 percent and over five day period over two day period as well as over one day period that is on friday the stock is steadily going up the industry is strengthening the stock is undervalued with a considerably high dividend and it is going up steadily how is the technical chart this is the technical chart as of friday's market close the weekly is supported by this memory support trend line this week's candle color turned bullish the shape is also bullish the backdrop color in the weekly chart turned bullish after a long time this is the first cyan color candle in the weekly chart after a long time in the daily again the bullish headwind could catch the very bottom as of friday it broke out of the memory resistance trend line friday's candle color shape both are bullish it has given a cyan flow color candle in the daily chart that is meeting all the requirements of the go with flow long trade setup in addition it went up with extreme bullish pressure on friday and it created a reversal candle that is initially price went below previous day's low however closed strongly higher it went up with high bullish pressure and it created a reversal candle it also came out of a squeeze there are many technical bullish signals on this stock improving industry strength fundamentally strong stock many technical buy signals this is also a stock that is giving 360 degrees buying opportunity as of friday's market close as you can see i can apply the 360 degrees analysis technique in the usa market as well as in the global market easily as i mentioned the usa market is bullish you can see that from the market etf study and you can also see that from the sector performance analysis how far the etfs are near resistance levels therefore i suggest not taking new long trades right now at the same time the market is bullish there is no q short trade setup in any of the market etfs therefore you may not take any short trade also right now if the market starts to go down next week then you will probably find several lucrative shorting opportunities in fundamentally overvalued stocks and the stocks in industries that are weak or decelerating i will do further live market and stock analysis in my wednesday's live market meet webinar it is open to the public you may register for the webinar from the webinar menu on the sagarnandi.com page that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for listening i look forward to seeing you in my next session have a great week and trade profitably